In this question, we have been given the fact that BD is five times the length of AC. So we must just keep that in mind in case we need to use that later. The first question says, prove the following. So we clearly can see that there are no parallel lines in this question. And so that means we're not going to be doing proportionality. It does, however, mean that we most likely will have to look at similarity. So what we can do, because remember similarity is all about two different triangles. So what we can do is we need to try and investigate which triangles we should work in. So EF is over here. AC is over here. ED is over there. And AF is over there. So this one's a very easy one. It's clear to see that the two triangles that we need to work in will be this one as well as this one. So there we have it. So now what we can do is we need to tell the teacher what triangles we're going to work in, but the order doesn't matter. So we can say in triangle EDF and triangle FAC. Notice I'm not worrying about the order. Now for similarity, we just need three angles. So we can see that they both have a right angle. So that's easy. So we can just say angle FDE. Notice I didn't just say angle D because that could be this one or this one is equal to angle A, C, F. And the reason for that is that they gave that to us or they, they, we could see it. Number two, we know that this angle is the same as this angle. So please don't say F1 and F2. They haven't given you F1 and F2, so you can't use that. So what you could say for the top one is E, F, D like that and then for the bottom one it could be AFC and the reason for that is vertically opposite so we say vert op angles then the third one we don't even have to look any further we know that A will have to be the same as E because remember that last one is always the same due to angles in a triangle so we'll just say angle E is equal to, oops, angle A. Notice I don't really have to specify what E I'm talking about because there is only one angle E. And the reason for that is sum of angles in triangle. So there we have it. We've got three things, so that's good. So there we can say, therefore, triangle. Now I'm just going to name the green one however I like. So I'll just say FDA, for example. But now I must make sure the order of the pink one so that it matches the green one's order. So what goes, so in the green triangle, we have angle F, which is over here. Now what goes with that in the pink triangle? Well, it's also angle F, so we'll say F. Then angle D in the green triangle goes with angle C in the pink triangle, and angle, oh sorry, this was meant to have an E. Yeah, FDE. And then so angle E in the green one, that goes with A in the pink one. So we go F, C, A. And the reason for this is angle, angle, angle. Okay, so we've proven that they are similar. Then remember, once you prove that two triangles are similar, you should always write out the ratios because the questions are always going to be found using those ratios. So we can say F, D over F, C is equal to D, E over C, A, which is equal to F, E over FA. Now think about this, if this ratio, if these orders weren't the same, then these then these ratios wouldn't work out either. So this order over here is extremely important. And then always remember we need a we need a reason for this one. So we say corresponding sides in proportion. Like that. Okay, so we're looking for for the question number one, we're looking for EF. There it is. We're looking for AC. There you are. ED. There we go. And AF or FA. It doesn't really matter. There we go. So we've got everything we need. That will happen most times. And then we just do cross multiplication. So we end up with DE going with FA and FE going with CA. Doesn't have to look exactly like they have it. As long as EF is with AC or CA and ED is with AF. I've just got them written backwards. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so that's question one complete. Moving on to question two. Here they have AC squared. So I'm just going to circle AC for now. FC, which is over here, and AD, which is this whole length. 
Okay, so we need to try and investigate what triangles they are asking us to work in. Typically when there's a square, it means that it's two triangles that both have AC. In this question though, AC can only be a part of this triangle. There's no way that AC is part of any of the other triangles that wouldn't work out. So we know that that pink triangle is the first one but now how are we going to work out what the other triangle is well it's quite easy we know that FC is one of the other sides well that's part of the pink triangle AD is part of the big triangle that one over there so that means that will be the other triangle then we're going to get even more confirmation because we're going to ask ourselves well how do they get an AC squared even though AC only appears in one triangle. Well then we see there's some type of relationship that was given to us in the beginning and there's that random five floating around. So we know that there's something happening over there and so we should also look at this side which is BD and that's this one over here. So that confirms that it's the big triangle and the small pink triangle that we are going to work in. So just to confirm we're going to work in these two triangles. And so, as always, we should specify what triangles we're going to work in. So we're going to work in triangle FAC, FAC, and triangle DAB. Notice the order doesn't matter yet. I'm just letting the teacher know which triangles I'm working in. Now we need to find three things, remember? So we can clearly see that the pink triangle, as well as the green triangle, they make use of this common angle A. So we can say that A is equal to A. Why? Because it's common. In number two, well, I think I've lost earlier in this lesson, there was a right angle, I think it was over there. I somehow erased that during the erasing process from the previous question. So what we can see clearly is that if this is 90 degrees, then this angle here would have to be 90 degrees. But we should specify that just to be sure in the test. And so we can say that angle FDB, remember we can't just say D because that's not a single angle, so we'll say FDB is equal to 90. Why is it equal to 90? Don't take this for granted, guys. Teachers want to know your reason. So if this angle here is 90, then this one has to be 90 because of angles on a straight line, which have to add up to 180. So we can say angles on straight, I know you just do it like that, straight line. So we know that that's now 90 degrees, which is now great because now we have a 90 over here and we also have a 90 in the small green triangle. So we can say that angle ACF, that's the, that's the small green one, is going to be the same as angle FDB. And now we'll just say that that's, oh no, we won't say proven. We didn't really prove that they were the same. We just, we sort of just showed that the teacher would know what you're talking about. So over here, we could say therefore, because the, because of the fact that we proved that that was 90, then therefore that means that these two are going to be the same. And then the third one is the easiest of them all, because remember, the, the sum of angles in a triangle must add up to 180. So all you do is you look for the angles that haven't been used. Well, in the green one, we haven't used F, so I'll call that A, F, C. Well, that should be equal to the unused one in the pink triangle which is B and I'm just gonna say B because clearly a teacher would know what I'm talking about and that's gonna be sum of angles in a triangle so therefore we can say that these two triangles are now similar so we can say therefore triangle now I'm just gonna name the green one but then we must make sure of our order for the next one so what goes with F in the green one well that was B in the pink one what goes with A in the green one? Well, that's also going to be A in the pink one. And then what goes with C in the green one? Well, that was D. So we'll say BAD. And the reason for this is angle, angle, angle. Then, as always, write out your ratios. FA over BA is equal to AC over AD is equal to FC over BD. And the reason for that is that the corresponding sides are in proportion. And then from here, we're going to get all of our answers. So we need to know which things to use. So AC, we need to go find AC. There it is. 
we need to find FC, there it is, and then AD, there it is. Okay, so we're clearly going to have to use those two, so we can say that AC over AD is the same as FC over BD. This one's the problem, but then if you look to what they've given you, they tell you that BD is the same as 5 times AC, so what we can then say is that AC over AD is equal to FC over 5 times AC. I'm then going to multiply this AC up to the top of here, so that's AC squared, and then I'm going to multiply this AD up to the top, and then the 5 is at the bottom. And so there we have found our answer. You see guys, so it all comes down to similarity or proportionality, and then if you get stuck and you can't find one of the things, it's usually something that they've given you in the original question, or it's something else, but it's usually fairly easy to figure out.